All right, how are you guys doing tonight? Or this afternoon, I don't know, I haven't slept. It presents. All right, um, so I want to introduce my team. It's me, Olivia, Jan, Sherwin, and Tony, and we work really hard on this project, so I'm really proud this afternoon to present to you Boneyard. Um, we talked to a couple of paleontologist friends, and we learned that while they work with ancient bones all the time, they really don't want to be working with ancient tech. Um, so they spend a lot of time just like, you know, looking at the drive, um, hard drives and looking at files and finding files. Um, we decided to throw all of that out, focus on the user experience, and give them a really modern, sleek interface to make their jobs and their lives a lot easier. And so that they can spend a lot more time out of old tech and in the boneyard. All right, Sherwin. Hi, my name is Sherwin, and uh, like Olivia said, we focused on the user experience. When speaking to our researcher friends, we noticed they wanted to go specifically to a, when they go search, they go to a specific specimen number. What we provided here is a search box, or they could infinitely scroll all the way down for all the catalogs we have available, uh, we've stored. If they already know what specimen number they want to go for, we simply go straight to the advanced filters and type in the specimen ID. Now, Jan, can you type in AMNH-12781? With this, we apply filters. It populates. The specimen ID shows up. And once we click on it, a preview page with the metadata. Okay. Metadata over here, not down there. <laughs> is going to display. Um, because of this, I may need a CT scan, which I will go show you now. <laughs> this is not my bone, but it is something you can scroll by, which I may, you know, my leg kind of feels like that just a bit. Um, we included this feature just because they know, they want to know, is this something of value to me? And if not, they can go back to the beginning and just find another uh, specimen. Similarly, when we go all the way down, we also provided an STL file or a 3D representation of the scan. Just making sure, just to double check that one more time they want to say, I really want to make sure is this what, what I want to collaborate with my partner over in another country because museums they collaborate with each other all the time, and we, we, all, we wanted to them to provide a forum in which they could do, do that. And um, we couldn't, and uh, here's Tony. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so we actually worked very closely with the next team, Pyrodactyl. Did I say that right, Pyrodactyl? Where are you guys? Yeah, Pyrodactyl. So we did the front end stuff, and we coordinated with these guys to do all the hard stuff, which was getting all these bits and bobs into the database such that we can present it and also optimizing, and they'll tell you all the details. Uh, so big shout out to them. You guys are awesome. Uh, here. <laughs> Where is your MRI scanner? 